Rise of China from Lionel's Lazy Gamer, and welcome to a game I found on Steam called Marie's Room. I don't know anything about it. It's a game that you're supposed to play in one fell swoop, one full playthrough, because there's no saves, so start to finish kind of deal. So, I don't know how long it's going to be. I hope you'll join me for this ride, and let's start the game. Into this random person's bedroom. The soundtrack was already pretty, so that's a good start. I didn't want to come back. I'll stop talking now. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? This already kind of reminds me of uh, Edith Finch. There. That's the bathroom. This already reminds me of what remains of Edith Finch. Is this one of those games where I have to like every door? No, that's her parents' room. Kelsey, I got an achievement. What if I just leaving on stairs? Will the game end immediately? Like a far cry? I don't want to go back down. Okay, I won't go back down. Welcome to Marie's room? Marie's journal. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking Hi, to Kelsey. you. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Fine. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. What's happening? Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. What does that mean? You can't, you can't make it sad already. Damn, I wanted to see if there was a, um, a subtitles. Subtitle mode. Well, sounds like I'm being demonetized. Last hope. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing was the same. All is now harmed. We're going to be friends. How long is this game? Have you seen this man from the burglaries in Orange Cove? Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Is that your boyfriend? Is that your ex? Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Whiteboard. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Think like a proton and stay positive. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I Outrageous. got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Okay. Well, I'm I'm much too late to be non-demonetized, so I'm going to just keep playing it. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones' swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Oh, little little dip, little little into the neighbor's pool. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. What I does that want anyone to know? What does that mean? Bumblebee. Oh, it's already so sad. I don't know your password. Saturday, July 7th, 2018. You're off by a few months, but I'll accept it. Oh my god, the home invader stab a father bash his daughter. were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. Oh, I'm not... stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Am I still playing as Kelsey? Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. A pack she asked of me cards. why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. 
The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Oh, that's dumb and something I want to write down and do for myself. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. <laughs> this is so weird, she yet kind of interesting. A girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Oh my god, okay, That's this is a little Trevor's much. Phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. So she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. I need to find the key. Oh, I need oh, to I investigate everything. Him. Okay. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The Little freezer meals? The taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Are you friends or not? That's not how a vinyl player works. I mean, I figure this is probably copywritten music, so at this point I might as well just uh, keep it on. Oh, uh, OMG, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart raced whenever I stopped to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so co connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode with excitement. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. What else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to the Food Rescue in a while, and I wanted just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or anything. So I offered my sandwich. Ugh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know, they're all, they are never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget that god awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped, and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him, but the other one to got the other one got to me before I knew where there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad. So they never caught them. I'm not fearless. We're all just saying life matters. We're all just we are we are all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life. And life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be uh, she likes to be out on a limb. She says she's not going to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck. By the way, see if I care. Oh. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. The cards. I think she's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me if that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. These are the good times that make me forget. All the troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house? I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big, but Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at the torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. So, July, January, February... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 7, 5, 18. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Z January, February, March, April, May, June, July. May 5th. 
18. She must have written it down here. That wasn't it? Did I do it wrong? July 5th, 18. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Could be 705. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Uh. What is the combination, Marie? Shit. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead uh. than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Another journal entry. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her, the weird kid, talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? Yeah, when I think of a good time, antimatter. Antimatter's where I'm at. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Could watch that gorgeous mouth eat anything. Mr. Toy. I already read that now. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed <laughs> money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. I don't. I feel like overwhelmingly sad, and nothing's happened yet. But I, I just feel out of place. I feel like I'm invading someone's home. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I wow. Know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Maybe she cared about you as a person. Jesus. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna. Ever Are you Vedic lasagna? But some people. What the hell is that? Have liked Mr. Jones's cooking, because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. All right, let's check the journal again. Uh, we had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her. For one of the hungry i don't think she knows my name but everyone knows hers she's gorgeous it surprised me is all i could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept a bag of groceries from me so i couldn't take my eyes off her if this world allows someone like kelsey jackson to be hungry it must be everywhere so i'm going to fight it with everything i've got I'm going to try to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep, I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous as if. Thing is, she thinks she needs to get him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey is the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out of here. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees no. in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. The hell's that mean? Another thing in the book. 
Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones' pool. I was scared shitless the first time, but ah, uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. Oh. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I me don't. Everyone. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. That's ominous for no reason. Just, I have a dream. Alright, I'm kind of hitting a wall here. Sparkly he shoes. Money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. I'm not a shadow person. I'm not person. A, a shadow person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. That, is that the Guardians of the Galaxy mixtape? Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen the, those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I was... I was... To be honest, I wish I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous on Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. She called me... She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. You make my character sound like a sociopath. Just doing what needed to be done so you didn't feel bad about yourself anymore. Oh my god, you're making me look for beer bottles? Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. That's really sad. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Uh, Ever thought I'd see Marie there. Do I have a QR? Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Wow! Let's see what I can get off the QR. Well done! Well done, you. Thank you so much for playing Marie's Room. The game's already 20 minutes and you're sneaking this in? You suck. You're welcome. Is it library? She must have written it down here somewhere. Shadow person. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Got it. Okay. Um, my face is in the way, so... Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had... None of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Died? Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. It gives me grief. Ugh. Hi, Marie. It griefs me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Phillips oh, no. J. Why didn't what you tell the? me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. I see you. Jesus. One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. 
that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Like a cat? When Bumblebee Aww. went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Marie, what were oh, you thinking? Oh, Christ. You know that's illegal. I mean, buying a submachine gun over here. Yeah, I'd say it's illegal. I guess I'm done here. I don't even know what to think so far. This game so far is an amazing experience, but... I, I Like I said, I feel like I'm invading the home. Like, I'm not supposed to be here, Every even though I'm Tuesday, playing a character that obviously was close to her. In. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside... Just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh my god. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her and she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show. And her stupid cheerleader friends. I am alone. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that. If it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She wouldn't worry. I am the worst person ever. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they are pat but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck! Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor's dangerous. I know it's him. There's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch. I'll have I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not not what I'm not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there's this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere, a little shady, I admit. But with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Would I throw a rock at her? Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La night was with Trev. She Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La night, she was with Trevor, and she- and he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him, not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong, broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebble, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she- she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed over- going over some notes for class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy, for her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Is that her combination? It's still only... Four... Is that May? I'd say May. Mark. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. Sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Jesus. All right. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. But I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him. Things can only get better. That's not true. Once you... Once you break up with someone that's... 
that far gone, that deranged to hurt people just because you don't want to be with them or you just you just make them upset, then there's not a whole lot that will keep you safe. It's just it doesn't automatically get better just because it's over. Sometimes it takes time. And that can be a terrifying thing, especially in a situation like that where you're being physically abused. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. Me too, actually. I she ever went. I've always wanted to go to Europe. I want to go to Paris. I want to go, I want to see all of France. Vacation there for life. I wouldn't even say vacation. Like, it would be, I would go extended stay. If I could afford to go to Europe, I would probably be gone for like a month minimum. Because there's so much to see and do, especially when you live when you live in America. Not that there isn't a lot to do and see here, but when you live in a place long enough, you're kind of like, eh, my place is okay, but like, what's over there? What's over way over crazy there? That's why I would go to Alaska. It may be, it might be a part of America, but it's a heck of a lot different than Maine, I assume. Mr. Torres, thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. You may have noticed, sweet journal, there are less there are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud. Ha! Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Do you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute. Up to a certain age. But he said mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time. Because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have he must have been rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Madwoman. Must have. The fucking swear jar. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. Mm. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Survival. After that school article, people kept asking us why I did it. As if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Pe maybe I should publish a book. My life story. So they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here. For the last time, last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. And he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth. His eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I would never realized when my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? People are more worried about pride than actually taking care of themselves. Obviously, that that's not fair. That was that was me talking without thinking. It, when it comes to, there isn't a lot of people that would just openly ask you for help. People that want to do it themselves. People that want to think that they can handle it by themselves. They can take whatever the storm goes with and just weather that hurricane. But asking for help does not mean weakness. That's something that, especially in high school and earlier, especially, it it's prevalent because no one wants to ask for help. Everyone's on their own. Everyone's got a tough time. I'm not special, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. That's help is help, regardless of age or why. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. To the journal. We needed this. Beers, beer, water, and oranges, like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named, shall not be named. Not today. I like how the game is like slowly forcing me to look around more. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. 
Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike. Because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones' orange grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of juicy of the juiciest golden oranges. I don't I didn't even think about getting caught. I'm running out of things to look at. I mean, I'm sure I'm not, but I can't find them. At least not just absent-mindedly. Like I said, the game is forcing me to look in other places for a change, which is weird. Because usually it's just like, ah, point A, point B, whatever. But now I actually have to try, and it's weird. Disgusting, no. but she was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. She didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. Jesus. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. That's a bit much. She just wanted attention. When was this? Uh... Nope. There it is. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry. I know, but fuck. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, to be fair, something I... I mean, I'm sure other people have said it, because it's not like some deep existential thought, but... When it comes to the point of walking on eggshells, what's the point? If you're walking on eggshells, it's already broken. Say it's a friendship or a relationship or whatever. In this case, friendship. If you're walking on eggshells around this person constantly, to not offend them, to not make them angry, to not get some sort of negative or unwanted response, then why are you still doing it? If you're walking on eggshells, they're broken. You're just walking across the remnants of what already cannot be fixed. If that makes any sense. I'm sure in context it'd make more sense, but, you know. Wait a minute, her birthday is March fourth right damn it there's no entry for it what year was she born that that's got it's got to be her birthday can i brute force it i might just try to brute force it because i what i think i'm missing the something the journal it i mean yeah it's in the journal but where july 5th 2018 wait is it the circled numbers three four nine five three four nine five one, three, four, nine, five, one. What three, is the code, four, Marie? Wait, the journal. Nine. It must be in the journal. Five, one. Yay! Yeah! Work, Kelsey. That wasn't her birthday at oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> the past, like the future, is indefinite, and exists. Only as a spectrum of possibilities. What? Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love <sighs> it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. Jesus he said to Christ. Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. 
my backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder, and he was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it, she screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... <laughs> what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet dead. That we all remember. Holy shit. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anne Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. So... It was, it was, everything was my fault from square one. I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey was who she said she was. I never really knew her. It turned out, no, I never really knew where it turned out. It's all been bullshit, and I'm so stupid. I should have realized that la la night and walked away for good, because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks into the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this, fix me, away from her. I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sakes. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're true. They're the truth. I'm stronger than I look. 
I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving the journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when this, when all of this is long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. I mean, I don't, I still blame you. you. Oh my God, the hair. What was I thinking? Hey, we won the science fair. Whoa. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Where am I? No, that's her parents' room. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon <laughs> in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Oh, we're in the future where the pictures just change. <laughs> Closed chapter. Marie's room. I don't know how to feel about anything at all. I don't know how to feel about a game where you play as someone whose fault it really was. We robbed her, smashed her in the skull, then befriended her, and then it came out that it was us? Or was it, was it, uh, we met her, was with Trevor, and was like, yeah, we can case this place. I know her real well. I know where everything is, and then smashed her over the skull. Regardless... Y you don't play a good person in this game. But that was a... Uh, it didn't feel like 50 minutes, but uh, it's probably cut down a lot because a lot of it turned into just empty wandering and trying to figure out what to do next. But I'm not sure how to feel about all that. That was that was an emotional impact in not a lot of time, which is always... I always love doing that in these indie created games. So, yeah. That was good. I don't know how to feel. Take all of what I said how you want to take it, that my eggshells quote, all that. Find your own answers from stuff like this because not every case is the same. It changes person to person, case to case. But I'm no doctor. I'm not a philosophizer. So thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like Marie's Room, subscribe, stick around, and ring that bell button so you'll be notified when I upload immediately. If you want to try the game for yourself, I'll post a link to it down below. It was free on Steam, but I did get, I believe I got every single, um, uh, word prompt every conversation every item in the game Because I got lost for quite a while, so I think I found everything But if you want to experience it for yourself, and I highly recommend you do I'll put it in the description down below and That's gonna do it for me See all of you in the next video and If you want to read my words and follow my face all of those links will be this and if you want to read my words and follow my face All of those links in the description below me, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye everyone Marie's room I don't, I'd never want to intrude on someone's room again.